Hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds. At Mint Mobile, we like to do the opposite of what Big Wireless does. They charge you a lot, we charge you a little. So naturally, when they announced they'd be raising their prices due to inflation, we decided to deflate our prices due to not hating you. That's right. We're cutting the price of Mint Unlimited from $30 a month to just $15 a month. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. New activation and upfront payment for three-month plan required. Taxes and fees extra. Additional restrictions apply. See mintmobile.com for full terms. This is a Stocks for Beginners quick tip. Essential lessons. Questions answered. Buying low and selling high is a concept that is much easier said than done. In this quick tip, Risk Chair and Non-Executive Director at Morgan Stanley International, Terry Doohan, tells us why this is so hard to achieve. If you're lucky enough to be able to identify a low or identify a high, that's great. But being able to identify those points is incredibly tough, even for the most sophisticated of investors. You know, I remember in March 2009, after the financial crisis, where the markets were as low as they had ever been and felt like they had just fallen and fallen and fallen. And in the months before that, people were saying, oh, you know, it's going to bounce back. It's going to bounce back. It's going to bounce back. And in March, February and March of 2009, even people who had, who had held their positions were starting to worry that this wasn't the bottom and it was only going to get worse. And being able to say that this is a low or this is a high in the midst of the rest of the market, waving their arms and shouting either in excitement or in panic is a pretty tough thing to do, even for experienced investors, which is why for more long-term personal investing, A lot of people talk about investing through the cycle. You just slowly put money into the market over time and you're not trying to pick lows. You're not trying to pick peaks or highs. You're just taking advantage of the long-term trend. Stocks for Beginners is for information and educational purposes only. It isn't financial advice and you shouldn't buy or sell any investments based on what you've heard here. Any opinion or commentary is the view of the speaker only, not Stocks for Beginners. This podcast doesn't replace professional advice regarding your personal financial needs, circumstances or current situation. Over four decades, Aberdeen has built deep relationships throughout emerging market economies. And each episode of our Emerging Markets Equity podcast is your chance to eavesdrop on an agenda-setting conversation between me, Nick Robinson, and some of our brightest minds, figuring out the opportunities in key emerging markets. Search for the Emerging Markets Equity podcast from Aberdeen. That's A-B-R-D-N, wherever you get your podcasts.